And it is Coca-Cola. <laughs> it was Coca-Cola. Hi, this is Simon and this is my beautiful Russian wife, Anna. And we have a little test for you today. Okay, let's start our cola test. I'm already thirsty. You're already thirsty? <laughs> thirsty. <laughs> yeah, we are in Russia and we have problems with cola. <laughs> cola deficit. Yes. Coca-Cola has left the Russian market and it's really true. I actually haven't found any Coca-Cola so far anywhere. Where we were in the stores, I actually saw nowhere Coca-Cola was really gone. Even in Burger King, they also changed. They have different drinks right now and literally saw nowhere Coca-Cola anymore. But about four or five days ago, I found this in the store. Real, genuine Coca-Cola. The biggest bottle you can get in Russia right now. A whopping 200 milliliters of Coca-Cola for... I think it was about 209 ruble, which is... Four euro? Is it four? Thought it's about three. Really? Okay, it's the most expensive Coca-Cola I definitely ever bought. So what do you want today? We want to guess what is real Coca-Cola and differ it from not real Coca-Cola, right? Yes, I think we should try to point out what is the real Coca-Cola and what are the others. So, our contesters. Let's start. Chernogolovka Cola. Did, did I say this right? Chernogolovka, that. Chernogolovka Cola. Here is Chernogolovka. Ah, Chernogolovka Cola. Let's put this to the right thing. Then Dobri Cola which just means good cola, I okay. guess. Just good cola. And a kind cola. A kind cola. Oh, so we have the kind cola today for you. Original Coca-Cola. The real deal, I don't know, 130 year old Coca-Cola, American heritage, still available in Russia, if you know where. Let's see if it's even seeable in this huge glass. Oh well, fair enough. I think that's not too bad. Then, Dobri Cola. Well, the only thing is the color difference and the foam difference we already see right now, but I see they are not really foaming so much. I don't see the color difference. Yeah, so far not really. And, Cherno... Cherno... Cherno Golovka. Cherno Golovka Cola. We go. Actually, I'm always like when I open something, I always sniff the bottle or the can, so I really have to hold myself not sniffing it right now. It's completely different for me. A little bit more. There we go. Now we need to mix this up until we don't know anymore which is which. All right. Then let's mark this here one. Perfect. Okay, this here we're gonna mark number two. Right? And number three. Great. Three. And number three. Do you want to have the honor? Let's start with number one. Are you already sorry, she's already going for it to I would have smelled it of course first, like a real aficionado. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, it's it's cola, yeah, sure. I feel okay. It's it's cola. I have to give it a try. Foams up like cola. I think this is one of the things which I mostly don't like with cola in general, but I think it is something what Coca-Cola mostly has, and it's this extreme foaminess, you know? Like when you are thirsty and you want to drink cola, it foams up so much in your mouth that you that you almost only swallow foam. And this really has a lot of foam as well, I think at least. Well, let's see. But I, I, I kind of feel like some, well, how do I say, etheric oils? Is this the right word? Some, some, some aroma oil, something like this. I feel you're kind of strong, which I like, but I'm not sure if this is also in the real Coca-Cola. Let's, let's go for number two. I don't know. Mm. 
This, I think, smells like a typical cola. Da? No. Yes, you're right. Here is more herbal things. I yeah, yes, herbal, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, that that's a good word. Some some herbal oils or something. I think I smell there, which I like. Even though now I have to talk to this thing. From first try, I felt like there is no herbs, but now after after taste is also kind of herbal. I think I'm missing this here. Very faint difference. But I think this here is foaming a bit less. I think here I had this strong foam no. feeling a bit more. Yeah, and here it's a bit less, I have to say. So, so far I would say from the two of them, maybe this is Coca-Cola, we don't know, but I would go for that this might be the real Coca-Cola. I'm not sure. Let's try the third one. Actually, this also tastes like cola. No, I mean, it is all cola. <laughs> I mean, good that they didn't got it completely wrong, since it all tastes like cola, so... It really tastes like... If you buy cola in Russia, at least you get cola. Maybe not Coca-Cola. Uh, this has something more citric, actually. I think here, I right away, I smell more citrus. More lemon. Oh yeah, definitely strong. I would say this is plain cola. First here is not here is a bit herbs, here is a bit Yeah. This is plain Tokovanyu. Here is a bit herbal. Here is very a very prominent citric note. Let's let's see if it's also tasteable. Then I would say that this is real standard cola. Because here is nothing just vanilla test taste. Also, I don't have this extreme foaminess here. Let me try the first one again, if I can recreate this. I'm already not that sure. Here also foaming. Yeah. Well, maybe it was just... Mm. Definitely here this lemon is very pronounced. That's the main difference what I feel here. This is very lemony, citricky, and this is not so much citrus. The both of them are not so much citrus. should guess which is which. I think this is two Russian colors. This too is Russian color? I think, yes, this is two Russian color. So this is standard color. I definitely agree. I'm not so sure about them yet, but here I'm very sure because what I, how I recall drinking Coca-Cola, what I always kind of disliked is it's a bit plain, just pure sugar. And there was always a bit of this citric for me was missing. And here there is a strong citric taste, which for me, it gives it this refreshing taste. And the real Coca-Cola for me is, it doesn't have this refreshing kick. It's a bit of dull to say so. Okay, America will hate me for this right now, what I just said, but that's just me, I'm sorry. So I'm, I take this out, this is not Coca-Cola, I'm very sure. I have to, I have to see what, what those are saying for me. Actually, that's that's a bit too far away from my nose. Like, my nose is small. I can't put it on the side. But when you tilt it, when, when I tilt it a little bit, then I can really, then I can get, <laughs> have to take care to not inhale it. <laughs> okay, I want to smell it. Wait. Her. I think this is real cola. I feel it. This here actually has less of cola smell. And this is actually a lot of cola smell. Yeah. This here tastes, it tastes like cola. Mm, but not less. It smells also, but it's not, exactly. It's a little bit less. This here has a strong smell. Yeah, this has a really, really strong Coca-Cola smell. This actually, I think they really, they smell the same, but this just smells less, yeah? No, I think, I think the most, the most of the taste differences, I think from everything you smell in, you smell your taste in the aftertaste. When it's like going away, then I think it really dissolves. So I really have to take some time when it, when it's like going away. I also think the number one has in the aftertaste, 
it leaves a bit more of acidity. Here not so much. When this is going away, it goes away together. And here when it goes away, I very faintly taste a little bit more acid, I would say. You feel this? I feel foam. <laughs> All right. And I feel that I never drank so much gold in my life. <laughs> that, that is true. Well, with whiskey you did. Okay, I mean without whiskey. Yeah. Okay, so I think we are both sure that number one is Dobre Cola. I have to say I agree with you there because, but I, I also have to say I agree with you there. But on the other hand, since I was always kind of missing um, a bit more acidity, I like this here the most because it has the most pronounced acidity, lemon-like. I think it's lemon. You really taste there's some lemon. And here ever so slightly. But I think I have to say from those two, the difference is very minor. I, I, I could- This too? From, no. From this to them, the difference is there. This is really different tasting. It has more lemon, really pronounced more lemon. But the two of them, I think they are almost indistinguishable. Let's say there would be no comparison. Just somebody would hand me a glass of cola. And I should say, is this Coca-Cola or the other one? I couldn't tell. No way. But to tell them apart when you really have them next to you. Yeah, this here has more smell and less acidity than this, right? Let's expect that this Dobri Cola is really made just when Coca-Cola left the market. They made this to be the substitute. So this should taste exactly the same as Coca-Cola. Because that the Russians really want to mimic the real Coca-Cola. Okay, let's say this here is really Dobri Cola. That's our guess. Then we say this here is Chernogolovny. Yes, because it's cold, so we drink. Yeah. And I think they were not really aiming to copy Coca-Cola. They were just trying to make cola. And this is what you get. It's definitely cola with a more acidic taste. And here the middle one we think is the real Coca-Cola, right? All right, let's start with one man. Let's start with number one. So this we say is Dobri Cola. And it is Coca-Cola. <laughs> it was Coca-Cola. Wow. So, so this, this here actually smells more like cola. Yeah. Interesting. But Coca-Cola has more herbal taste. Yeah, true. It has a little bit of herbal taste. What is this? Chernogolovny. Duh? Yes. Duh? Oh. <laughs> We're completely wrong. <laughs> wow. It's taken everything. Completely wrong, huh? So, so wait. So number two is this here and number one is actually coca-cola and this here is dobri cola is it right wow. <laughs> i hope if this is not matching up we have a problem dobri cola now interesting it's not real cola no it is a real imported cola wow so ex actually which one did we prefer the most i have to say i prefer dobri cola the most because it was the most acidic i would have never thought and I prefer more cola taste, and I, I thought it's original cola, but it is juice of Kolovka. Yeah, yeah. So, actually... Normal cola has something between this and this, then. Yeah. So those two are actually the most similar to each other. So I think, as, as one conclusion, if you are, like, highly addicted to Coca-Cola, don't go to Russia. But if you end up here, you can substitute yourself with Chernogolov... Cherno... You may... Cherno... Chernogolovka? Chernogolov. You can substitute yourself with Chernogolovka Cola. It's absolutely safe to say that this would work out. And... Yeah, Dobri Cola. Really interesting that I like actually this the most. You know, I'm, I'm really a guy who is... Um, I like to look at a product. If a product appeals to me or not is really... This is the face of it. And if I see this here in the store, it looks so generic and it looks so... I, I would not, I would not buy this. I would definitely not buy this. It looks so plain, it looks so boring. Coca-Cola, of course, it's just absolutely beautiful. I mean, it's an icon. This, this bottle alone, I think they have this for over a hundred years and, and uh, it just looks very cool. Even though I don't really buy it because I dislike the taste. And this here is, for me, it's like a picture. I really like that with a little bird on it. Very beautiful. Yeah, there you go. I think we found out that we will 
not buy Coca. I mean, we would definitely don't buy Coca Cola in Russia anymore because uh, it's definitely blowing a hole in your budget. But as we see, we don't need to because we just can. We can use Chernagovka. Yeah. Okay. And for ci citrus flowers, it's Dobrikbo. That is true. Thanks for watching. Maybe consider subscribing to see something including me and something including her. Just leave a subscription, a like, comment, and have a great day. Bye. Bye. <laughs>